Hi guys, today we have a special guest. Meet Tiberian or Tiberian or TB short. He's gonna be here and distract me a little bit probably. <laughs> okay. Oh he's gonna look out of the window. Okay. But today we are unboxing another upgrade box. I've already opened it this time, so... But let's see what's inside. <laughs> We've got a very cute sticker. The postcard as always. Ah, don't eat my pen. It's not toxic, but... It's not edible anyway. Landscape imagination, okay. Ooh, that one's beautiful. That's my spoiler. Okay, that's to protect. Blend color, okay. Oh, those are chameleon ma Come here, baby. Woo! So, those are chameleon markers. Uh, if you know my other videos, I know them from scroller box. I fortunately had different colors in the scroller box, so these are a very great addition to my collection. I also know these. Outline Thailanders. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I didn't get as much sleep as normally <laughs> as you can think probably. Um, so those fineliners I heard are pretty good. Mine was dried out last year. Ooh, I hope it's not the case this time. And a 2H Koino pencil. And a wonderful great and a wonderful big sketchbook. That's cool. Oh, I did that last time and I love this. So I'm gonna definitely do that again. That's the explanation to the comedian. Well, fine liners. And that's a pencil sharpener, probably. See, guys, I know this word. That's scroll box I was sitting there and thinking about, but I know this word normally. That's the proof. And an eraser! <laughs> I was thinking about the interesting shape it has. That's definitely great for traveling because normally when you have like a pencil and an eraser in the same box then, then it's gonna get dirty but this way it's all protected. That's cool, that's perfect for traveling. So then let's make out of this! Hi guys and welcome to the voiceover. So let's start off with my idea for this one. And first I wanted to make something quite similar as one last time and two the artwork on here. But then I thought that is too much not copying but not really interesting because I already see it. And so I thought how can I combine this with what I want to make and how can I create something that is original but still works with the kind of art material that we have. And uh, I know you've seen the Hello Ellis video already but this one was actually created before and I went into the garden as I told you in the last video and made pictures of leaves and stuff like that. And this inspired me with the upgrade battle world to incorporate the leaves in the garden kind of as the landscape so more zoomed out basically and I tried to combine the line technique with the landscape idea as good as I could at least because normally when I make this kind of line drawings I go back and make some more lines afterwards after I've seen how the whole artwork works together 
and that's not really possible if the color constantly changes. So the gaps between all the lines are a bit wider or sometimes a lot wider than I wanted and not as swishy as I wanted because otherwise it wouldn't have looked like a leaf and so yeah that's how it turned out and the uh, swishiness I think it is better to make it like that because now it looks more leafy but um, as you can see in the ones that I made later after I got some training they I think look better with more lines but I'm working on this problem in another way later but we will come to that when we hopefully around the time when we will see it so let's first talk about the supplies i know the chameleon markers or fine liners or whatever are really expensive so it's not a wonder that there are not as much art supplies compared to other ones but i don't really want to say that because i think it's the right balance this time yeah it's also cool to get more art supplies but those are high quality art supplies and they are in a wonderful color scheme so i'm pretty happy the chameleon markers aren't easy to work with for me at least because the tip isn't that fine which i commented on in a lot of earlier videos i don't like white tips because i can't make the detail that i want to and i am a very detail oriented person so it's a bit hard for me with those white tips also the fact that they constantly change color makes me a little bit stressed uh, maybe that's not necessary um i don't know how they discolor it when i don't work with them so if i would like draw a line in the color that i changed it to and then leave it for one minute would it still be the other color and could i work with it or would it stop and mix and that thought was constantly in my head so i always was a bit busy and had not the normal time to think about what i'm doing and that led to wider lines basically but i think with training you can make awesome awesome things with those markers because they have a lot of potential and they are a very creative idea and way to work with color and color mixing and yeah with markers i heard the argument that you could just blend the normal markers but that wouldn't work with fine liners at least not as good and not as fine so that's where they are really creative and a new possibility the art line drawing system fine liner is okay i don't really have something to comment on and now to my technique I used the outline marker for some shadows and I used a similar technique as by blind wolves and made some dots but I made differently shaped dots and they are kind of the shadow and then for the leaves I started to blend the tips and the bottom a little bit and in some I also blended the sides so that they would get more dimension and look a little bit more colorful because it looked a little bit too liney and not really because of the whiteness it didn't really fit my idea that good but now i'm actually kind of happy and i hope you are happy with the video i think that was a very cool upgrade box and i hope it helped you and entertained you at least and i hope we will see each other in my next video bye